kind of kind of knows. Kind of balance a little. Only six foot deep. <laughs> Can't see much any, it's murky as ever.
pretty. <laughs> is that parrotfish? Or is that mouse? Yeah, parrotfish or leather jacket. GoPro waterproof case. So today again we're gonna do a shark shield. The one that Paul bought me. We haven't um we haven't tested it out like the other one. So there's two small sharks like you saw. Eight are big fish. So we're gonna try to track them and see if this brand works. So yeah, I'm doing brand, shark shield brand. <laughs> I won't tell them what one this one is yet until we associate with them. Exactly. Coral trout. 
spear fishing. So I'm gonna make a Vietnamese uh, dish. Um, I don't really know the name of it. It's with these vermicelli, white noodles. Very healthy for you. Very low in fat. Um, it's very good and it's very easy to make. Easier than pasta because it cooks really fast. Um, I usually make two of these, but it's lunch. I'll make two. One for each person. It's sort of a lot, but... Um, and all you do is boil it in um, hot water, just like pasta. You can wait for the water to boil. I'm lazy, I just cook it. So I'm gonna do half sea water like I always do. Actually, I'm gonna do all sea water. That gives me some salt. Um, depending on what island you are, the place, some of the sea water is very salty and you have to dilute it, uh, maybe a quarter seawater, three fourths fresh water. But here I find that it's not so salty, so I do all seawater. Or you do half half, just experiment because I don't know what your level of saltiness, what you like. So I'm boiling it now. So I'm boiling it in hot water, hot salty water. I'll put the lid on to um, save propane, make it go faster. So, these vermicelli, love them. They're very cheap and very healthy. And I'll show you what I do with them. Of course it's working, why? The GoPro? What do you mean you put it under the wire? You didn't even use the GoPro. I am using the lid. Oh, okay. Where's the lid coming? Up here. But it's going to be out soon. You might oh, oh, I mean, if something comes, it'll get them. It's only going to last 60 seconds. Are you doing it now? Yeah. Okay.
so use whatever vegetables you have. Um, I don't have lettuce, so I'm using red cabbage, um, cucumber, and snow peas. What I like to do with snow peas is just cut the ends off with scissors and cut it um, in little pieces. So that's what I'm going to do now while my vermicelli, they cook really fast, so see? I'm just going to let it sit there for a little bit. I don't even need to close the lid. They cook really fast. I'm just going to do half lid. So I'm just going to chop these and plate it and then wait for the fish. So you can't really see me chopping. So low budget. And I have to get two bowls. I love my bamboo bowls from Kmart. Two for ten dollars. Very pretty. So I'm gonna cut the cucumber. Any size you want. I'm just going slow. Matchsticks are nice. So I'll just throw that in. Carrots would be nice too, but I forgot to buy carrots. Um, any vegetables? Oh, mint leaves, basil, coriander, herbs are nice. Um, oh, I have green onions that I can cut from my herb garden. My mint died, so no mint. So that's cucumber. Well, Paul's outside doing the shark show. I'm getting my hair dry after the snorkel. Beautiful snorkel. Love it. So the red cabbage. I love red cabbage. Anything bright. It's just full of nutrients and nutrition, vitamins. Everything that's good for your body. And, okay. The snow peas, I just cut. And also, um, I have to use up the snow peas. I forgot I had snow peas in the refrigerator and I found them. And see, they're a little bit icky. I just cut those pieces out. And then, so... And then my kale is sort of yellow and gross, so we're not going to eat that. So... A little bit left and I'll show you the vermicelli. So that's my bowl of snow peas, red cabbage, cucumber that I cut. That's all I have on board. And here's my vermicelli. Probably overcooked. Um, you can make a dente, but um, colander, strainer, pour the hot water. Just like pasta. Ooh, see how much that makes? Maybe, ooh, look at the steam coming out. Maybe I should have just made one. Well, whatever you don't eat, you can save like pasta. Um, so just let it sit for a little bit. You can cool down with um, cold water, but living on the boat, we tried to be conservative, so I'll just let it um, breathe naturally. So let's see what Paul's doing. So the super fresh coral trout Paul caught. We're gonna eat the spine beautiful white meat and um, we're gonna have a traditional Vietnamese dish with fish sauce. Ew, I need to turn off. Can you turn this off? So I have some peanuts. We put peanuts on um, the white noodles so I love crushing stuff. I don't think I'm going to do too many peanuts. Mm. Almonds. Crush them. Make sure it doesn't fly out. Okay, crush 
crushed. I'm gonna put the mixed peanuts away. You can use any peanuts you want. This is just what we have on board. We don't eat too many peanuts. We love them, but they're expensive in Australia. So, I'll show you my peanuts. Peanuts. So, my vermicelli crushed peanuts, snow peas, um, cucumber, red cabbage, and paw. It's going to dip pan fry the fish. What? <laughs> He's obsessed with the voltage, so. Show what? <laughs> How you fry the fish. Oh, shallow, shallow fried oil, five millimeters of oil. Um, just throw the background in, the tail's going to crisp up with a little bit of crunch, like um, crackling. Speak louder! Like crackling, the tail, it's edible, beautiful. Our hobo simple cooking, sustainable living out at sea and on land. Um, it's just a beautiful feeling to catch your own food. 